get low, get low, get low. It's been a while, it's been over two months, three months since I last streamed. Anyway, work got really exhausting, but I've quit work now. So I'm planning on creating more content during at least the summer vacation, and then I will see how much free time I can have uh, when school starts up again. Anyway. Today we're gonna play A Date With Death. Do I have any idea what this game is? No. Except that's like a dating simulator. About your- okay. Freeing your own soul? Saving your own soul? I don't know. But it looks interesting. A friend of me was really hyped about it. So I thought, why not try it out? And I wanted to stream and I was like, sure, a story game is a nice, easy way to get myself back into the flow of streaming. And then soon I will probably be streaming other things, Honkai okay, Star Rail. Maybe try out a new vanilla Stardew Valley update. Uh, more Spirit Farmer. See if there's any other of the games I have in my Steam library that's just been sitting there for months because I haven't really been streaming, but I have been collecting games. Anyway, let's just... I can talk and create the characters. I do need to say, the art style is very pretty. I like the different colors. And I'm curious, I put on... Wait, I did... I just want to check that I ended up on the s yeah, right setting. Yes, s s Steam stream safe music is on. So when you play this game for yourself, which I might recommend depending on how much I like it, you might have other music. Oh, that's just skipped. Okay. You've always been an ordinary person. An ordinary person with an ordinary job at an ordinary apartment. That is putting aside some of the strange occurrences that happen around you. Who hasn't been involved in train crisis, a house fire, a hurricane, a parachute related skydiving issue all the, in the span of a few months after all. You've always been this way. You've found yourself in many unlucky situations, but come out as scattered every time. Friends and family have always called you lucky, but at this point you don't even bat an eyelash at these occurrences. A piano falls from a six-story building above you, you simply step to the side. Trip on the shoelace and fall down a flight of stairs, not even a scratch. It's one of these unusual or ordinary days when you arrive home and look in the mirror. What do you see? Huh? Why was that text so fast? I don't know if I can change. Can I change like text speed, please? I don't think. Is it auto maybe? No, but then it should be slow, right? And it's all like sound related. Wait, we will see. This should be fine, right? How do we want to look? Oh. I prefer this one. This one is very muscular. I do not have any muscles. Or, well, I do. And I'm very pale. I like the art of this game. How did we go from basically a flat chest to like, I mean, it always depends on the clothes, but this feels like a lot of difference. This gives me like medieval prince vampire ish kind of style. I like it. It's either that one or this one. I think I prefer this one. Let's go with that one. Uh, ba -ba. Ooh, we can divide the hair in difference. That's nice. So we can like the. Ooh, that's very light. Being gone. I like that. I do love like these type of character creations. I can 
get completely lost in them. Uh, nah, let's keep the hair short. Maybe we can also make pretty long hair. And like this one. Maybe the back longer. Ooh. I'm only said that well you can like put two different colors maybe if I switch it around. I'm kinda said that it doesn't really mix well. I do like this long hair style though. I just kinda like this. Maybe I need to do a different one of this then. So I don't feel this is too straight of hair for like this floof ball of the feeling. So at this point I've given up on like ooh th this looks cool. This now has just become ooh. Why does that little front floof just not mix it? It doesn't even mix with the fluffy. There we go. Let's just go with this. This looks kind of okay, right? Nose. Woo! Yep. Chunky eyes. Do like myself some eyelashes, please. Oh, we can do quite different colored eyes. He. <laughs> um. Wait, let's switch them around with the hair. I. Let's just go with that one. Why not? If I cannot do my, my pink blue on the side, I will just do it in the eyes. <laughs> Why is there such an aggressive mouth? They're all like... Pretty basic... Mouth formations, I guess, like at rest. And then you just have this very aggressive and then it just goes to sad. Oh no, wait. Just thicker lips, it doesn't even look sad. It kinda does look sad. Cause like the mouth, the corner is all the way down. That's what telling me it should be sad, but it doesn't really look sad. Hmm. Ooh, freckles. Ooh. Oh, I've been selecting a lot of freckles on top of each other. That's why I was like, why are they so dark? Ooh. Let's just make her like a fey uh, white freckles wine. We can give ooh accessories. Don't like how this is compared to like the little go, go away. Oh my god, I selected all of them again. With this thing, the little neck thingy i forgot the name this doesn't really fit we don't have another this one no that also feels weird do like the air piercings we're keeping those i like that you just can't stack everything like oh you need to wear two glasses you need to have all these earrings no, we don't. I want to keep those. No. Ah, yes. Cat hairs. They do not fit this hairstyle. Um. Honestly, I think I might keep it at this. Oh, the brow piercing. And a nose piercing. Oh uh, no, we we keep it at this. This is fine. Uh, they, um, this one. They're called captivating. Oh, it's 
You prefer to be called beautiful, handsome, captivating. Custom, can I just... <laughs> sure, then. We, we like to be called cute and chaotic. Sure, why not? Cute and chaotic, that's what I want to be called. Honestly, I wanted to fill in other things and I was like, wait, I'm streaming. Let's just keep it kind of nice. And then just fill other things. I'm just cute. Uh, let's keep it. Both start with C, that fits, right? There's a next page, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I've been going by the name Lost Glitch for over half a year now, I think, or something. I don't know when I started streaming. I was... I lost basically all connection I felt to that name. So I've been... I've changed my name on every platform I'm active on, like YouTube. Um, maybe it was only the text. Maybe I still have the name there. I need to look at that. Anyway, I've changed it to, well, on Twitch, sadly, I messed up the naming process. So it's Myths of Magics with an extra S on the end. Uh, so it is Myths uh, of Magic, which is on all my other social media platforms. I have like TikTok, YouTube, it's all End of Magic. Because... I accidentally locked myself out of my Twitch name. Maybe I can have it now. No, I cannot change my name yet. Anyway, <laughs> I got distracted. I've decided to change my name to something that is more appealing to me. Which at the moment is Myth... Myth... Why did I pick a word that sounds so pretty yet I cannot pronounce it? Myths of Magic. The pictures are gonna stay up for a while, but the reason... If I change everything, people are not gonna be able to recognize me anymore, I fear. So the pictures are gonna stay for a while until I both created new things, but also ooh, a fluffy cat. I do love myself a fluffy cat. Uh, until I find myself uh, cre both creating the new art. Wait, wait, why aren't you letting me screenshot this? Thank you. I find this very pretty, I want to keep it. Anyway. Uh, so the the things are going to change a bit, but... Uh, roughly, except like the name and picture change, most things are going to stay the same. I am learning Blender and I hope to eventually create uh, a different mini-me in Blender instead of me drawing this in paint. But we, let's just quickly say, we will see what happens. I'm planning a lot of things and honestly, I had anxiety pressing the streaming button. So I'm just happy I'm streaming again. Click here to input your character's bio. You can update it along the way. Okay. This is a great time to say I'm very terrible with writing bios. Hi, I am Miss. Ah! I love it. Cats. Goodbye. Beautiful. Save your photo. Oh, I could have saved my photo here. Oh, well. Um. <laughs> I like cats. In reading. Continue. Ooh! We can customize this game so much and we can add literally anything Ooh, fairy lights i do love myself some fairy lights this is basically what i have in my room only i have like rainbow colored ones in a tube instead of this oh yeah, I guess it's kind of like crossing over. No fairy lights for me. I 
would love myself some plants. Let's go with plants over there and then on top of the bed we can keep the photos on like the fairy lights. I now fear with every button pressed that my things are gonna be deleted again. And replace the clock. No, I prefer the clock and the pictures. Ugh. Good night, yes, please. This is becoming kind of painful. I Can I just... Oh, I can also change these colors. So, oh, that's decoration. More plants. Oh, that's the bad color. I misclick. I like this one. just go with gray and we replaced it again okay I kind of wish there was like a go back button that would have been way easier than having to select everything over and over and over again okay we have created a room first chance has death create your first main character got an achievement how nice oh we're in my room oh I have to actually do things now. Is that like a fast save button? That would be so much easier than this. Or I just need to... I've been playing Baldur Gates 3, so my habit is like saving every few minutes. Reason I wanted to play this game was to like... Not play anymore. I have started Saturday. And my hours in Baldur's Gate at the moment are... 27 hours. I mean, a few of those I accidentally left the game running while I walked away from my PC. Still, that's a lot of hours for only like three, four days. Three, because I was away most of Sunday. I, I need to stop playing games so much. Okay, well, we're gonna pet the cat. <gasps> we can name her. Um... What to name a cat? It's like a brownish, stripy potato. Hi there, potato. My little baby interacts with your favorite furry or otherwise pet. I love this game. Touch the to check on potato. Potato is fast asleep in the sun, fair enough. You gently stroke down Potato's back, not wanting to disturb her. She is so fluffy and soft. A ding comes from your laptop. Ignore! The pet needs attention. You take a look at what you expect to be an email. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a strange app you've never seen before. You look at it for a moment before hitting the X in the corner of the program. I will deal with it later. My cat needs attention. Let me touch your little toe beads. You gently poke at Potato's toe beads. They're squishy beneath your fingertips. Your thankful Potato is a rare kind of cat who likes the belly rubs and toe, peen, toe bean poking. Second thing echoes through the room. Or you look back to your laptop screen. The app is once again open and flashing on your hotbar. You wonder for a moment if you're, you've you somehow picked up some malware. I wouldn't be surprised. Ignore. Oh, that's my laptop. Renovate and appearance. No door. My bed. Your comfortable bed. See, seen you through many nights of sleep. You're not that tired yet though. You can't help but recall the day you bought this bed. It was your first piece of furniture you bought from for yourself. Not only was it too big to fit up the narrow star stairwell, you got it wedged halfway up. You thought you were going to have to sleep there for now on. But eventually it came free and then you stepped on the loose floor blood floorboard and nearly plummeted down a few flights of stairs. Oops. Certainly an experience you will never forget at least. 
the things are coming much more frequent now. Someone or something wants your attention. Ignore. You're not worried. No, you're angry. The things is starting to annoy you. For a moment you contemplate throwing your laptop out of the window. But calm before you but calm before you possibly commit a crime by dropping a laptop from the fifth story of a building and knocking someone out. Yeah, that's fair. Delete the app. And it's probably just gonna download itself again. It can go outside. The door leads out to the hallway beyond. Okay, can we go there? Your apartment is on the fifth floor of the downtown apartment building. Okay. There's no way you want to go at the moment, but you overheard some talking on the other side in the hall beyond. You don't know your neighbors very well yet. But perhaps now is a good time to learn more about them. Let's just eavesdrop a little bit. Just a little bit. You put your ear to the door, straining through wood to hear the words being spoken beyond. You heard the sound of someone knocking, then a door opening. Sorry to stop you, I just moved in down the hall and I had a package meant for you delivered to my apartment. A deep, rich voice floats through the door. Oh my gosh, I thought the package would got lost. I really can't thank you enough. The other voice responds light and somewhat airy. Well, it gave me the chance to introduce myself to you, so it called good luck on my part. Here, all yours. Thank you again. Um, the voice trails off. Oh, my apologies. My name is. The name is muffled for a moment as the elevator dings. You yeah, missed the next few words. Your humble servant. The second voice laughs. I feel like I owe you something for having to bring that heavy box all the way over here. I would hardly call one flight of stairs all the way over, but I wouldn't turn down a coffee, the deeper voice replies. Oh, how about tomorrow? They're just going on a date already, that's fast. It's a date! I mean, not really, but see you tomorrow. See you. You hear the door close and sound of footsteps walking away from the door, and then silence. Before you hear the sound of pottery falling and shattering on the ground, the door opens again. The deep voice speaks first. I, uh, didn't see you plant there. Coffee's on me. <laughs> you hear the second voice giggle, then speak. It's alright, I've been meaning to get a new pot for ages. Let me at least help clean it up. Did you do it on purpose to have more things to talk about? I can some see, see some people do that. I don't know what I would think about that, though. It's really no trouble. I insist. I was the clumsy one. Alright, let me get the broom. The voice become muffled, then silent. That seems to be all the information we get of the day. The thing in it is constant. You don't know how much longer you can put up with the sound. Perhaps it's time to check what's going on here. Fine. That's it, you think. You're going to commit a very bad act <laughs> to this laptop of yours. Or have I opened your in the uh, when you come to your to your senses and close the app once more? You quickly delete it from your laptop and empty your trash can. But two moments later, it reappears exactly where it was before and opens again. You think about the sketchy sites you've been on, but even that is hard to concentrate on past the constant dinging. I would have thrown that laptop out of. Would it just downloaded itself on my phone? I can see that happen, like if you throw the laptop out of your window, it's like silent for 10 seconds and then your phone starts dinging. You attempt to delete it again, but it won't delete anymore. Try again, nothing happens. Try again, but angrier. Nothing continues to happen. Great, guess I got a virus. I am curious. But will my laptop explode if I just let, let it continue ding? Stare that down. Nope, you think. Not today. You keep staring at it. Ah, huh? Okay, my right. 
Oh, it also autosaves. Okay. Uh, also, I have quick save. How do I quick save? That seems like a thing you should tell your players how to do. Did I? Okay. Okay. Let's just continue. <laughs> Good things begin to drive you insane. You attempt to shut the computer down, but even that isn't working. Okay, we're clicking the app. For a choice game, I don't seem to have much choice. <laughs> I know it's because it's trying to set me up, but jeez. The thing will probably drive me insane in real life. I'm happy we cannot hear it. Non-stop. We heard it a few times. It seems to be a strange chat room. Foolish mortal, you shall evade me no more. I have had enough of your fiddling around in your room and ignoring me. I have come to reap your soul. That is far more important. Hand it over willingly or I'm not here to play games. Answer me at once. Hello? I see you wish to ignore my demands. Foolish. Incredibly foolish. Please respond. Does it not work after all? Well, this is quite embarrassing. Testing. Testing one, two, three. Hello? Testing? Ah, fuck me. Is that an offer? <laughs> Wait, I've got more. Can I click on those? No, okay. Model gamer, do not engage. Which magics and stories? Slug to yeah, the, the baby there on an adventure. And then single assassins in your area. Is that not another game I saw? I don't know. I've seen it before, I think. Soul <laughs> number 8000. Awaiting status. Being stalked. Done. Perfect status. Uh. Oh, the quick save button. Um. I, I kind of want to go with is that an offer? Because honestly, the past year I've been trying to make that respond as a joke. The little ghost. An offer? An offer for what? Uh, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. Tell me at once! Or what? Or, or, or I shall take your soul at once. Is that not what you're threatening me with anyway? Seriously, is this a virus or something? Virus? No. Do not be absurd. Why is everything capitalized? This is an application that I have created. It sounds like a virus. Or? Messaging you. That sounds like a stalker. Why? I don't even know who you are. Wait. Are you a bot or is it strange to message a random person out of nowhere? Wait, are you a bot? A what? You know, a bot. Beep beep. A robot? Don't be absurd. Robots anywhere near my level of charisma, charm and good luck are not possible. He is full of himself, jeez. Sounds like something a bot would say. I am not a robot. Robots say, huh? Huh? Gotcha. I have not come here to play your games, mortal. Why are you here then? I told you, I have come to reap your soul. Yeah, you said that once or twice. Wait, what did you come here for? To, to reap your soul? Sorry, one more time, you're cutting out. I said to reap your soul! 
Man, really bad perception here. <laughs> Can't make out what you're saying at all. <laughs> Do not belittle me. I am coming for what I... What? I am coming for what is owed to me. That is all. I would do y it would do you well to not get in my way. Every word being capitalized is not fun for my dyslexia. Um, are you trying to threaten me or something? And I don't owe you anything. Are you trying to threaten me? Do you feel threatened by me? If so, then I'm doing my job correctly. This bodes well. Yeah, I'm terrified. Is that sarcastic? I'm reading it as sarcastic. Really? Ha! <laughs> Good. Your instincts serve you well. Yep. Really, really scared at the moment. You will not mess with me any longer. When you found out my true form, you will come cower in fear. You will beg me to release you. Uh-huh, sure I will. And this true form is... I am the Grim Reaper and I have come to claim your soul. Right. You're just repeating yourself. Cool. Totally reasonable thing to say to someone of not gonna lie not the weirdest scam someone tried on me <laughs> Is it for me the weirdest scam? I think for me it was when I was searching for a job that it was for the weirdest scam I got Because it was actually um, a, a job agency. I don't know what's the Eng what's the English name again um, What's the Dutch name? Is it job agency? I honestly don't know. Okay. Recruitment agencies, whatever. Anyway, it was a place like that what I looked at to see like what jobs in my nearby vicinity were. And then I got a WhatsApp message like five days later from some people claiming to be from that company. Only when I started googling the names. First off, uh, I think everyone, everything was in English, but I could brush that off. I was just not looking close enough at it, and I was like, nah, I'm no longer interested, go away. And they kept pushing me. When they offered me a remote job for like... How much was it? It was like five... It was a lot per hour or per day, I don't even remember. And I was just like... Huh, no way. And that was like the moment I looked close at it and I looked, googled the name of the people that were sent to me. They were like wrestlers in America. The names that I pulled up. Like, at least if you're gonna pick someone, pick someone good. Uh, ba -ba. Cool. Uh, not gonna lie, the weirdest scam someone tried to pull me. There was this one time when I got a message from a time traveling astronaut. Said I had to wire them money to preserve the time-space continuum. Uh, did you send them money? Sounds important. Oh my god, this dude would fall for the scams. Jesus. Somehow I'm not surprised that you would fall for that. What? It was a lie? Well, I hope it was. No, you're making me worry. Time is not something to mess with. <laughs> what kind of baby girl coded? <laughs> what? What is that? What? Stop trying to distract me from what matter at hand. Your soul. You will hand it over. Are you okay? Okay. Why do you want to know my condition? Well, you're spanning all this nonsense. I thought it might be a call for help. You 
You can help me by giving me your soul already. Mm, not really a fan. What? That doesn't matter. All that matters is that you give it over. And if I say no? I would laugh at one who would defy me so openly. Being left at or losing my soul? Hmm, tough decision. <laughs> I like that these are the kind of things I, I also would do sceptically. I can basically just guess what the options are gonna be based on what I would want to say. And at least one of my thoughts will be one of the options. You know... I don't usually respond to spam messages like this. Now I'm thinking I should. Anyway, do you seriously think you're the Grim Reaper? Excuse me? <laughs> it's a little cute. It's funny at least. Yeah, it's kind of cringe, no? It's... I mean, if you would seriously think he's the Grim Reaper, but he wasn't the Grim Reaper, then it would be kind of cringe. cringe. <laughs> testing, testing is the status. Um, let's go with what is this button? That just decides for me. Okay, it's a little cute. C cute. It's a little notable, but it's kind of sweet. <laughs> Why won't you take me seriously? Well. It could be that you keep saying things like I've come to eat your soul and I'm so etsy and dark and I'm the darkness incarnated. I'm so etsy and dark, I've come to eat your soul. That's the best one because he does keep talking. I I never said that. You did. <laughs> Gaslight. I did not. You have no proof. To <laughs> lead chatlock. Neither do you, little Mr. Grim Reaper. You, you mock my title? <laughs> what is grand is amazing. It's less mocking, more like teasing. Wait, wait, wait. Quick question. Do you walk around like I'm a death in real life too? I'm a death. It said I'm death, not I'm a death. What? Bow down to me, your soul is mine! <laughs> I'm the Grim Reaper. Death and Dark. Now I like this one more. You do, don't you? Stand silent? Mmm. You give up dresses in all black vibes. I can relate to that. I do that my entire class. I'm trying to change it, but right now... I say as I'm wearing one of my only colored hoodies, but... But basically everything I own is black. Because it's... An easy choice for clothing, I don't know. Why are all my clothing black? I'm not gonna st push myself into that crisis, let's continue. I think I can imagine you completely. If only we could meet to confirm my suspicions. Come on, jump. You, you. I will not be mocked by a mortal. Give me your soul, your soul is mine for the harvesting. It will be a three-course meal. You! You! Did I hurt the scammer's feelings? You do type like that. No, did I hurt the scammer's feelings? When did I scam you? Why do you keep calling me a scammer? You're giving me a complex over here. If I hurt your little dead heart. What makes you assume I'm dead? A green reaper is like a skeleton, right? Another foolish assumption. Notice, 
I shall make it as painful as I can for you. Your disrespect has been noted. Hey! Since reaping souls is your job and all, I have a question. Do you... Make a killing? I hate you. I hate you. So much. Stupid mortal. You would quiver under my gaze before I grant you death. Kissing or quiver was certainly a choice. What does that mean? Let's just go with sarcastic. I'm quivering just thinking about it. Not in a weird way. What is the weird way? I'm just give up. This feels like me not realizing that Gil in Baldur's Gate 3 was flirting and not just being nice. And then suddenly I was being seen as being romantic towards him. I was like, no, I don't wanna. I literally re reloaded my game purely to not talk to him at all during the party. I would like to see you try to insult me to my face. Fine. Video call me then. Unless the little weeper is too scared. I am never scared. Oh my god. <laughs> yes or yes. Mm, which one do we pick? Eeny, miny, mo, I have one. And anything to say for yourself? Oh my god. I'm anything but scared of facing mortals such as yourself. That was. Uh, Testing, testing, this is working. What is this? Is the feeling if I click on that, I have so many options. Hang up disabled. <laughs> I didn't know what that does. What is this? Give me an answer. Okay. I like the size here in the back. I do like the art style a lot. The, the room is pretty. The person is also pretty, but like... Well, he certainly are cuter than I expected. <laughs> Excuse me? Cute is not a word I would describe myself. Yeah, Kittens are cute. Puppies are cute. Agree? I am not cute. Yeah. I'm curious if I... Because it does nothing with sound. If I, like, put it here, am I gonna regret this choice? We will see. No? What would you use, then? Deficious, devilicious, handsome, immunicate, gorgeous. Okay. Now it takes a long while. Anyway. Simply use your eyes and you will see for yourself. You're full of yourself. Jeez. Someone see me sure of himself? <laughs> yeah. Obviously. I really was picturing Jack Black hair though. Oh, he did not like that. Is it usually black? Do you bleach it or something? What would I waste my time doing that? That. So that's all natural? Of course. Don't apply human logic to that which you don't understand. Or can you not help yourself? Perhaps your eyes cannot leave me. Oh, you're joking back now. There's much, not much else to look at. Why is he not messaging me back? Even if we're talking, I want messages. I do think the art is cute. And I like the clothing style. Why could I not pick these kind of clothes? I would love to have picked those kind of clothes instead. I mean, I've basically, I'm still kind of a medieval vampire-ish type prince. Whatever I said. I forgot. I am not cute. Oh, that reaction. I'm gonna keep calling him cute. I think you're plenty cute. You are incorrect. Well, you aren't exactly Reaper-like, are you? Let me rephrase. You don't look like a Grim Reaper at all. Excuse me? 
You. Oh. Is it not obvious? You can type and text at the same time. Thanks. <laughs> oh no, now I need to focus. Okay, let's just focus my attention on the voice call. Um. Huh, wait, you can type and text at the same time? Is that not the same thing? <laughs> oh wait, I just realized. Wait, hold up. But Mini Me is temporarily gone if I don't forget to turn him on again. Because, anyway. Um, now you guys can see the chat message. Because I can not really move it across the screen, so it's just gone for a bit. Right, just a normal dude. How many times do I have to tell you that you are the Grim Reaper? Keep saying that, but it's not true. Uh, the thing is, I don't believe you. Oh, he looks so sad. Okay, no need for that face. Of course I'm not gonna believe you. I'm simply surprised that you could be so naive. I'm the Grim Reaper in charge of ferrying souls to the rightful afterlife. You're still saying it, really? I, can't re I really can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'm not really interested in being whisked off into the afterlife or whatever you're offering. Nor am I interested in entertaining your strange fantasy. You truly are insufferable. Okay, the expressions are amazing and adorable. I'm here for the sole purpose of harvesting your soul. Your opinion on the matter hardly matters to me. Think of what you want uh, about me and my role. It changes nothing. Then why did you turn on the camera? You clearly had something to prove for yourself. Mm. Bop. There's no text. I will just... Yeah, yeah I, I missed a little animation in my eye. Uh, eye corner. Pathetically speaking. Aren't people meant to be, you know, dead? For the Reaper to come after them. Desperate times go for desperate, desperate messengers. Uh, thanks for the explanation. Don't look at me like that. And new text. Okay. You are actually making me feel a little. Oh my god, I've got about that text. I'm just here to dirty work, unfortunately. Don't shoot the messenger and all that. Okay, what was the little message? I got distracted. I got distracted. I was scared I was gonna be distracted and I got distracted. You are actually making me feel a little guilty. Good. I'm giving you this look because you are full of shit. I mean this one where I look at you like you lost your mind. Oh, these are my bedroom eyes. <laughs> I know what they mean, but like, come on. Even this one, where I look at you like you lost your mind. I've been 100% truthful to you. Who wouldn't believe a stranger on the internet? Yes, the man video calling me is definitely the Grim Reaper here to take my soul, for sure. Sarcasm. Yeah, I thought I was above your mortal mind. Well done. I'm so impressed. Seems you know a thing or two about sarcasm as well. Really? How did you know this? You're truly infuriating. Did you know that? Thank you. That's not a compliment. Not even slightly. You really are so sweet. You know how to make a person smile. How did I get lumped in with someone so annoying? Oh, thank you. I heard that. You were supposed to. You're a little flower. I didn't whisper, did I? Whatever. More like I'm stuck with you anyway. You and your weirdest typing. You wanna understand? What? 
Why did you type like that anyway? That is weird as about my typing. Wait, it's not on purpose? Explain yourself. The capital letters. Yes, I know what the capital letters are. I'm not brainless like yourself. I was using them, was I not? Yeah, that's the thing. You use them too often. Way too often. What are you talking about, mortal? You were using them on every single word. You're really not supposed to do that. No, nah, he's flustered. I do not type correctly. Allow me to go perish. Thank you. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but honestly, sure, if death, the Grim Reaper, whatever wants to perish, go ahead, I guess. I don't know. Could a death, could a Grim Reaper perish? Or would it just be like reborn and do it all over again? I don't know. That's exactly what I'm telling you. How embarrassing. I do not type correctly. Call ended. <laughs> what? What? What did you hang up for? Little Reaper? Come on, I was finally having fun! Why did you leave the call? There is no particular reason. Oh, you know, you don't use them at all, I see. None whatsoever. Uh, I'm not trying to make fun of you or anything, but... <laughs> it's still not the right law. I guess I'll go then. Incoming call, except yes. Hi. You're blushing. <laughs> you see, like the pig does. Uh, are you embarrassed? He's also clearly embarrassed. He said, How embarrassing. You're blushing so hard right now. I'm gonna take a screenshot. Shut up. I, the way I type is unimportant to the matter at hand. Just hand over the soul so we can be done with this. I thought you were moving past the whole soul thing. No, mortal. There is no moving on until the deed is done. Meh, deed. Too bad, it's my soul. And like I said, I don't believe you. I mean, it's been fun messing with you. Oh, this has been amusing, but the Grim Reaper isn't real. <laughs> it's a myth. Do I look like a myth to you? Uh, no. Maybe? Eh. Honestly. No, you look like a very pretty stranger. But the Grim Reaper isn't real. I'm telling you, I'm quite literally... Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. I feel like we'll keep going in circles at this rate, so... How about a bet? A bet? And we got a message! Consider my interest peaked. Someone likes bets, huh? Okay. Or maybe more like a deal. You have my attention. Continue. Perhaps I do, yes. Only the word yes is covered. Uh, so, what if your claim is true? Then you should have no problem taking my soul, right? Correct. I have taken many souls. I will allow you to free pass to my soul. Oh, intriguing. If you can take it. 
I will let you and I'm only putting up a small fight. Just a little one, I promise. Uh, take it, I shall. I'm glad you're confident. I will give you a week. That should be no problem for the Green Reaper, no? A week? You shouldn't underestimate me. Underestimate me. I need only a day. An hour. Oh? If you only needed a day, why did you bother with all this? He was bored. <laughs> Are you perhaps struggling? Fine. A week it shall be. I am honor bound by my very soul to accept the outcome of such deal. And I am um, not honor bound, but you can trust me. <laughs> That remains to be seen. But if you can't, what do you ask for? Hmm. Your hand. <laughs> Your soul now. He did say he had a soul. I was about to say Grim Reapers probably don't have a soul. Your soul. My soul. I suppose that makes it fair. I not expect that from anyone who would ever come after my own soul, I must admit. Scared? Ha! <laughs> Mortal, I'm scared of nothing. Except for typing incorrectly? <laughs> I agree to your deal. If I cannot take your soul in the next week, then my soul shall belong to you. Out of interest, what do you plan to do with it? Uh, that we have, that's a pretty big message. Hold up. You will regret this deal, mortal. We'll see about that. Map. Uh, what will we do? Eat it, probably. We should mix our souls and make some kind of soul baby. <laughs> we could make something, i sure. What nonsense are you spouting now? Funny stuff. <laughs> you know, soul baby. You heard what you said. I was only hope I hurt you wrong. What's the issue then? Putting aside the fact that you said is impossible, I'm not ready to be a body. <laughs> oh my god, this game is making me laugh way too much. I'm, I'm just. Re I, I became really giggly. I've probably been laughing the entire stream. Okay, I guess I will just onto the soul for now then. We can revisit the soul baby thing later. We absolutely will not be doing that. It's of little concern seeing as you'll be soon be yielding your soul to me. Fine, if not a soul baby, because I make a necklace out of it for something, for some reason. That's just as strange. Anyway, as fun as this is, it's getting kind of late. We can't waste our time messaging random people on the internet. This would have taken much less time if you had done as you were told. Damn, okay. Done as I was told? Yes. Don't you silly follow orders from strangers. Well, perhaps you should. No, I should not. It sounds like a terrible idea. You do seem like the type enjoying pulsing people around. My, you're very forward, aren't you? Yeah. Pass, actually. The uh, second one. Of course, I would. That's what I just told you. Hang on to red. Oh? What is there to be confused about? Alright. I see you might have wandered into mortal fantasy. I'd argue it's your fantasy. You were the one who brought up me following your orders. I'm simply stating it would make my job easier. Sadly, not everything is easy in life. Or death, in this case. Dealing with you certainly isn't. 
You like talking to me? I disagree. Hey, no, you do. I s very strongly disagree. You'd like it so much. He's gonna hang up. I'm disagreeing so hard that I would win some kind of award for the most someone has ever disagreed with a statement. Maybe it's like. So many negatives added together, it became a positive? So you actually agree? Absolutely not. You know what? Mortal, you are dismissed. Off to bed immediately. Oh, but this is so funny. So fun. Dismissed. Do you not understand the word? You can go. Please. What if I say no? No, oh, I was having so much fun. Yes, you see have that effect on people. What? But it's time for you to get your due rest. Oh, you're acting like you care. You will need your rest, else your competition won't be as fun. Oh, the little tongue is sticking out. <laughs> he looks so angry. I can just say sleep well, you know. Good night, little reaper. Sleep well, miss. Bop. Guess I will go then. Hey, wait a second. How did you know my name? How indeed. I never told you. Whoa, I wonder how exactly I could have known that then. It's not like it is I have a big list sitting in front of me with your name circled at the bottom. Well, I'm circled I'm that special to you. Oh he's oh, dang it. Oh I cannot even joke about this game because I fear the reaction will just be an option. And good night. Night. Sleep well, Grimmy. Oh wait, can I change my username? Why? This one's kind of lame. Lame? It's not lame. It, re it represents how many souls I've claimed before yours. It's a badge of honor. But can I change it or not? Fine. What about my picture? You are a neat little thing. Mm. Mmm, aren't these basic messaging app features? No. Oh. Yes, of course you can. <laughs> of course, this program lacks it absolutely no ways. Thank you. Okay, um, change the name real quickly. And uh, my name is too long. Um, there we go. Fits why the game. Um, these drawings are cute. I do like the little ghost I got attached. Thanks, Grimmy. Night, night. You can click your little picture to change it whenever you want. Yes, I worked that quickly. You may be impressed. Enjoy. Thank you. Night. Complete day one. Oh, new items. After restless, restless nights, you wake up and head off to work. The day passes uneventfully. But you cannot get your mind off the strange things that happened last night. The man certainly wasn't a Grim Reaper, but you can't deny that something felt special about him either. You think about him as you begin to walk back to your apartment. It's dark out, you finish work later than usual today. You believe that's why you didn't see the banana peel someone had left on the side. A banana peel? Really? That's the first to go plan? You slipped over just in time to see a heavy metal beam fall from a construction site directly overhead. Mm, okay, that's a bit more impressive. 
it fast <laughs> towards you at a rapid pace. Can I save? Wait and see what happens. It falls towards you, faster and faster, before a powerful gust of wind pushes it to the side. It clashes to the ground beside you. You blink a few times in surprise. Then stand. Just another normal day, yeah? You walk over a little while longer and finally arrive back at your apartment. Honestly, that luck is impressive. Little toe beats. No, oh, we can give it a treat. You pull it back out of pota potatoes' favorite treats. That's enough to wake them up. You feed potato a couple of them, and then she gobbles them down. Thankfully. Aww. Door. Can we? The door leads out to the hub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're somewhat tired from work today, so you don't feel like going anywhere at the moment. Just as you're about to turn away from the door, you hear a voice on the other side speaking quietly. <gasps> yes! A good time to eave Yes, eavesdrops! Yes! Your voice that's light and airy through the wooden door does seem to be speaking over the phone with someone. Sorry for coming back so late. I was actually I was actually on a well, I suppose it was a date. There's a short silence and the speaker's voice lowers in volume. It was amazing. It's crazy the amount of chemistry we have. It was like meeting an old friend again. There's something so familiar about them. It's a nice feeling. Here the person let out a loud sigh. But then I went and spilled my coffee all over their shirt. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know if I can look them in the eyes again. There's a pause for a moment before the person speaks again. No, they re were really nice about it. Just smelled at me and said it was fine. My favorite part about the date, well, I thought I was rambling on too much, but they just watched me with a smile and encouraged me to keep talking. It just felt so natural, like we have known each other forever. You heard the door open and your neighbor goes to retreat into the apartment. It was lovely, though I couldn't help but feel the strange, wistful melancholy from them every now and then. No, 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 I'm not exactly sure why. They just had this distant look in their eyes every now and then. It's hard to explain. Anyway, I would need to go cook dinner. I will call you tomorrow, mom. You hear the door shut and then silence. Oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that voice. I got light in my head. I don't even know if you could hear my voice. I didn't check that. I had a feeling I was talking kind of quietly compared to normal. I hope you could understand that. But I was adding way more air into my words than normal. Or something like that. Honestly, I'm not sure. I just got light in my head. What the heck? Bad. You're comfortable, bad. You've seen it too many nights of sleep. You're tired, but something is keeping you from being ready to sleep yet. It's definitely was nothing to do with the handsome man pretending to be the Grim Reaper who messaged you yesterday. Nothing whatsoever. Looking at your bed reminds you of the strange dream you had last night. You held a size in your hands, palms sweaty as you took a soul from someone running down an empty street. It felt so real at the time. You wondered for a moment if that's what your new friend does, before shaking your head. He's not really the Grim Reaper. That would be absurd. It was what he was doing, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, check your computer. Let's continue. Ooh. Wallpapers. Um... That's pretty. I like this. Gallery. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I like the little turn around. <laughs> I, will, I will not bother you. Ooh. Pretty. They will not bother you guys too much with the art this time. 
Uh, I want to close this one. Patreon, music, internet. Oh, Meowthy Fortunes. Past. The nine lives. This card represents resilience and the ability to bounce back from setbacks. In your past, you faced challenges with the resilience of a cat with nine lives. The Clever Cat. This card symbolizes intelligence and resourcefulness. Your wit and resourcefulness shine bright, resembling a cat plotting its next mischief. You, your moves could outwit even death. Huh? Future. The Scratching Post. This card suggests a need to release, build up tension or frustration in the future. You'll scratch away life's annoyances. The Grim Reaper might offer you a life of mortal annoyances. Excuse me, how do you know that? Paint. I draw a little hard. Ooh. Ah! Yes, just overwrite my save, I don't care. It was not what I was wanting to do. What the heck? What? I think I broke the game. Don't think I was supposed to. Drawing for me. Games. Oh, big bomb. Okay. Okay. This is a good time to say I've never played this game. Wait, no, I think I have actually. Don't remember. Play again, even if it's kind of slow. I think um, I did play something similar. Um. With my study last year, I think I've made something similar or something I honestly don't remember. It's gonna go boink and roughly around. Dang it, I moved too much. I give up. Are there any other games that I can play? Runner. Okay, jump over those, I think. J jump over those. It says Dodge 3 floor. Okay, so I just need to jump over everything. This reminds me of the dino game. I'm not good at the dino game. I used to play it on my phone for like the longest time. Because um, my internet would keep falling away. And I got kind of tired of that. So... Together with just fanfics on AO3 being open in my browser at all times, and so was the dino game. I keep thinking the little okay, the little ringing of uh, the, the the music is someone ringing a bike bell. I don't know what's called. It's seven fifty-five. Yeah, that's not correct. It's also not 611. Or is it supposed to be American and then Elf so whatever? Ooh. Rules. You have five turns to guess. Oh, it's like Wordle. Rules. Uh I'm never I've never been good with Wordles due to being dyslexic. Um, okay. Price. Also, no. Um, Chewy. Okay, no. We're not gonna play again. Oh, uh, it's it's the eleventh of the sixth month. Cause look at the the, the temperature of Fahrenheit in the chat room. But you begin the chat room. Proceed. Yes. I've played around enough. 
Hello, Miss Soul to Grim Reaper or, or to Grim Myth Soul to Grim. Are you so hard to work that you have to talk to me, Grim? Rude. Poor Grim, slaving his life away. What are you doing anyway? Still have my soul, by the way. So much for I only need a day. An hour! Ooh, he changed his profile picture. You do love to see yourself talk, don't you, mortal? <laughs> oh, he uses emotes now. I saw you talking to yourself yesterday before I spawned it, you know. Simply testing if it worked. I was not talking to myself. You are the only one sitting here waiting for me. Lonely, are we? Oh, well, kinda, actually. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to admit it. Uh, I see. Well, don't... Well, worry not, Morton. People often tell me I'm delightful company. Of course they do. I believe that. Now that you have seen my good looks, you will find it impossible to stay. Mm. <laughs> okay. Maybe if you're lucky, I will let you look again. It, the, the emotes would keep me here. <laughs> I like the emotes. No comments. None at all. I know you suck in my charm. How long were you sitting here waiting for me, mortal? Were you hoping I'd show my face once again? Uh, I was just bored. I have expected someone to jump out of me all day. You know, to steal my soul or whatever. No sign of any reapers. Scared, are you? Always looking over your shoulder. Looking for me. Waiting for me. Um. Wait to see you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> You'll be the one proven to be a fool, mortal. Come up with your own insult. Who's supposed to be fools to gather them? No. It will only be you. And just do silly fools. I can't wait, you know. Four. I can't wait for the day where you have to admit you're a liar. That you are just a poor mortal. You would do best to remember your fate lies in my hands. Your life can come to an end at any moment. Yeah, so why am I still here? Well... Did you say I had my soul in an hour? Honestly, I'm surprised how much power wheels taking so long. Simply decided not to rush. Mm. What have we been doing today then? Seating other poor mortal souls? I thought I was special. Interested in my day to day life, are we? Is that really any surprise? You're the Grim Reaper, it's only natural, right? By the way, is that you in your profile picture? Is that a selfie? So, what if it is? It is almost cute. He's trying so hard. I bet you took it just for me. You're pretty much obsessed with me, aren't you? Say I, the one who was spamming him. Mm -hmm. Shut up. You are stupid and talk too much. Forget my picture. Let's go back to talking about my day. I was busy, as per usual. And you, mortal. What takes your time during the uh, the days? The bills don't pay themselves. Elaborate. Oh my god, you're spoiled rich kid. Who's interested in who's staying today life now? Uh, I work as a mortician. A freelancer, I work in fashion, school teaching. I make computer games, I'm an artist, I'm an animal attendant, I'm an author actually. Hmm. Let's go with computer games. Hmm. I suppose it suits you, but thank you. You are welcome? I'm hoping that's actually a good thing. Think whatever you want. Oh, thank you. My intentions shall remain a secret. Is he going to ask if I made anything you've played? 
That's usually someone's first question. What would I care? You create something with, I imagine, love and care. Whether I know your creation or not, that makes little difference. To create is admirable, and it's an achievement itself. Oh. I hadn't expected you think that. Thank you. There's nothing to thank me for. So... Can you just tell me your job was being the Reaper if I asked? At least you finally recognized it. That is my job, yes, my job, my hobby and my reason for living. That sounds boring. <laughs> That's a little sad. How do you do it then? Stick your hand into their chest and pull it right out? Stick your teeth in their neck, vampire style? You sure have wild imagination. I mean, you're not giving me a lot to go off. That is definitely not how it's done. Oh, okay. Kind of expected that, like, reaping with the size, like, just cutting someone in half, maybe? Um... Uh, though I must admit, I wouldn't make a dashing vampire. Yeah. <laughs> My dark vampires are in right now. They are super in. Honestly, if you're looking for a profession change, I'd keep it in mind. I will consider it. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Do you have the daily quota you have to fill soul wise. What if you don't get enough one day? Big random human it will do? What? No! It's predetermined, obviously. I have no hand in the matter. I am simply assigned jobs and I complete them. Usually anyway. But here we are. Oh, so you didn't pick me out? I thought I was special. It's a job. I take it seriously. I'm not going to go around staking souls at random. Why not? Would that not be more exciting for you, Grim? You have bad work ethics. Is this thing all mortals have? If I was the Grim Reaper... I take all the souls. Honestly, that's better than living a really long time. Especially because, like, then Earth would basically instantly overpopulate. This is why you would never be a good Grim Reaper. Ah, Grim Reaper seems to imply there are multiple. You're speaking to the very best of them. Obviously, I don't work alone. I cannot be everywhere at once. Do you not know how many people die a day? Give me a moment. Uh, 1500,000 deaths a day. Does that answer your question? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> 150, yeah, I'm a talented, but not that talented. Mm-hmm, I'm sure the best, very best. But you have my soul by now. Oh, but surely the very best would have my soul by now. You are a difficult one. You wouldn't understand my struggles. Um, I struggle plenty in life, you can tell me. You are them! Ah, oh, thank you! You know how to give someone a compliment. Whoa, all caps. That is how tired the situation is. And yet, you're sitting here, perfectly content to keep living. Despite that, it's not working for me. Um, honestly, I did feel a little guilty, sorry. So you hand it over? Absolutely not. <laughs> A thousand curses upon you. Thank you. Only a thousand? Weak. 
Nothing about me is weak. Nothing? Nothing. What about your love for me? You're saying that's not weak? Mortal, you walk a fine line. A very fine line and it's very funny. It's okay to admit you were wrong, you know? I'm never wrong. The love for me must be... That's enough of that. I'm really already sick and tired of you entertaining you. Uh, okay. Got nobody else to talk to, huh? Does that matter? I suppose not. I don't mind holding all of your attention. Perhaps I will charm you with my, well, my charm. And you will hand over what I desire. Anyway, since I have your full attention now. Sure, accept. This is my... Wait, 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 wait. Before you get in the weird Grim Reaper thing. I have a really important question. This should be hilarious, I'm sure. What the hell are these emojis? I mean, they're cute. But why so suddenly? Did you discover emojis or something? There were so many. Yeah, they are a mortal custom, no? I'm fond of this one. Oh, it's cute. Uh, custom? I mean, people use them to chat. But the ones you use are kinda... Thank you, I'm well aware. Well, they are kinda cute, but... Well, they're also kinda weird. What? They are not. They are not. I use those kind of emotes. Um, okay. They kinda are. According to the internet, emojis are frequently used in chat, text chats. Someone on Yahoo answered specifically said so. Uh, they are, but not those ones usually. Nor that I have a frequency. I actually, I use them basically every other message. Oh god, uh, am I not a normal typer? Those are called Kamoji. They're not really normal emotes. Ooh, wait, let me save that name. <laughs> it's a marker for me. I want to Google that later. Damn it. And why does it change? The entire way you type is different. Uh, it doesn't even matter. I shall refrain from using them further. Oh, but they're so cute! Ugh, I wish I'd never call you. That's your own mistake. You're the one that wanted my full attention. Is there something particular you wanted to say? Nope, not really. Then why'd you call? <laughs> Just wanted to see how quickly you'd answer. Oh, that bad. Mm. I believe this is a new record. Okay, next time you're gonna be stuck waiting for 10 minutes. Okay, no, I'm streaming. I'm not gonna. If I wasn't, next time when I'm not streaming, you're gonna be stuck for 10 minutes or longer. Next time, I won't answer at all. Of course you will. You are drawn to my charm after all. You are so full of yourself. I can't tell if you're just very self-confident or completely full of yourself. What? Well, first things first. Self-confidence is, as a mortal might say, hot. There is no point in arguing with me there because I'm correct as per usual. Eh. No. Most of the time, I just think it makes some... I mean, it depends on, like, the level of self-confidence. There's the this fine line between it being... Nice in a person, not person... I am not the person who can say hot or, like, attractive, because I don't find it. Whatever. <laughs> this is what you get when you have an ace person playing a dating sim. But, like... There's a very fine line between it being 
acceptable, comfortable, whatever you want to call it. And it being annoying, a red flag, whatever you want to call it. Secondly, you keep saying Grim this, Grim that. My name is not Grim. Why would you call me? Why would my name be Grim? Completely and utterly foolish. No, no, no. It just kind of suits you. What is your name then? I'm sure you'd love to know, wouldn't you? Yes, that's why I asked. How you must desire my name to fall from you. No. No, not really. I'm the only one to sign that as you. <laughs> if you say so. You're not disagreeing with me, I see. Listen here. My name is not for mortal ears. It is classified on all lists. Or whatever it said, because I accidentally pressed the button. How the hell can a name be classified? The reasoning for that is... Classified. Red little smirk. He's being mean. Oh, of course it is. I should have guessed, really. This, but this is super unfair. You know what my name is? Life is unfair. It's only fairness is in death. Anyway, why wouldn't I know it? It's quite literally my job. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Honestly, life is overrated. Oh, damn. I'm pretty fun of being alive. I'm just gonna quickly... Boop, those are the messages you might have missed. Uh, honestly, with voice call, uh, I do miss Mini. It's not covering that much, and it's kind of annoying to keep turning it on and off. We will see what we will do. More like you hacked in my computer when you installed this virus riddled program. Then you stole my information. Is that what you want me to believe? Be my guest. I would just stick with Grim then. Or maybe we should come up with another nickname. Hmm. How about Ghost? I'm a Reaper, not a Ghost. There's a very big difference. Not that I would expect you to understand the incur... Susies, whatever. But your hair is kind of ghostly. It's not. My hair is well taken care of and not at all dead. Oh, he cares for his hair. So, ghost is a no? Indeed it is. You're a little picky, aren't you? Then how about... Hmm, you're bright like the moon. Luna? Moonlight? What? No! Storm. Ugh, no. Uh, <laughs> generic. You tip! Why would anyone want to be called that? I thought that was a good one. Phantom? Phantom. Uh, I don't know what else, actually. God, what else is white? Nice! Ugh. Steve. No! <laughs> What does he have against the name Steve? That's kind of rude. Then, you know what? Grim will do just fine. Lord, please help me. Please don't subject me to these nicknames any longer. Okay, Steve. I need to overreact, Grim. You. Me? Yes, you. You. Are the only one here. Your words make me want to wring your neck myself. Huh. I don't know if I'm into that kind of thing. What? It, I'm, it's not a kink thing. It is. It's not. It's an act of frustration. Hey, I'm equally frustrated. No, I'm not, but it's the only option. Just want to know the name. Of the man who wants to kill me. Would it anyone? Where is the fun in that? Um, so I can write it down. And people know what happened if I actually die. Keep me in your mind, wondering. Just call me Grim. You have to listen to even more 
uh, one more of your stupid nicknames. And now I have to combust on the spot. What about me? What about you what? Do I get a nickname? Why would you need a nickname? I know your name perfectly well. Miss. Perhaps you find yourself too flustered hearing your name spoken, but no. I just think nicknames are fun. I call everyone nicknames. I should get one, so I should... And you get one, so I should get one too. Blah, 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 blah. You wouldn't want to be unfair, would you? Oh, I love being unfair to mortals. Life is unfair, the only fairness is in death. Right? Okay, heart emoji, okay. Those pretty little hairs work after all. You think they're pretty? What? No. But you just said it. Pretty little ears. I was trying to insult you. Weird insult, buddy. Look, a nickname is unnecessary. But if you had to pick one, what would you pick? Hmm. Annoying, irritating, infuriating. Those are adjectives. My bad and really is we had nickname police here. Seems like someone isn't creative, huh? That's how you get this person. Uh, th th that's how you get to do him, like, the things you want to do. Annoy him. <laughs> Say he isn't good at something. Creativity is not something I lack. In fact, I do not lack. See? Yeah. Lay it on me then, Grim. Well, it's... I'm waiting. What did you creative mind come up with? S sunshine. Sunshine. You think I'm like sunshine? Sorry, I misspoke. I meant nightmare. Hmm. You absolutely did not misspeak. I don't mean mind being your sunshine. Please refrain from speaking anymore. It is rather grating. I'm suffering my ear stuffing my ears. La 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 la. I cannot hear you. You're literally not doing that. You're so sweet, Grim. And you're delusional. Oh, yeah. That probably. I'm flirting with an internet stranger. That that sounds delusional, yeah. Completely and utterly. Uh. Your face screams uncertainty. There's nothing more certain of in life, or death, for that matter. La 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 la. Fine, and I'm completely and utterly delusional. But also you think I'm like sunshine, so I have that going for me. Mm. Mm. You really do seem kind of adorable sometimes, you know. You look like me like that, I want to tease you. He does have funny reactions. Especially when I call him out of him and his typing. Really badly. Such a grumpy reaper, yet you thought so it's a cute nickname. Come on, call me sunshine again, or say it one more time. No, I refuse. Pretty please, with sugar on top? That makes no sense. Why is there sugar on top? I don't know. English saying? Forget the sugar. Come on, pretty please. Nope, no, absolutely not. What if I hand over my soul for it? You'd really do that? No, but I do want you to say it again. Ugh. Really? You can only blame yourself for coming up with such a cute nickname. There's no reason to be shy, my little reaper. Huh, shy? You would call me shy? I'm anything but. Hmm. That's why you're flustered right now. I'm not flustered. I can call you whatever I want. Oh, no, you cannot. I can just hang up the call. Wait, it's still disabled, probably. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so David says she also has it. It's adorable. Yeah, just wait till you see the tease. I am the Grim Reaper, for God's sake. I'm none of those things. 
and prove it. Don't worry, I can wait. Let me get my popcorn. Ugh. Seriously? You're seriously a health spawn? Thank you. You're... You're... Like sunshine in the worst of ways. You are far too bright. I hate sunlight. Hmm. I can't help that I'm naturally radiant. I doubt you can help your natural stupidity either. Grim? What now? If you just like that, you may. You're blushing. You know what? My cat's on fire, I gotta go. Ooh, can I see? You're a what? Uh, I, I think I left my stove on and my fridge open and the front door unlocked. I think I've used those excuses before too. But I don't want you to go yet. It's actually kind of fun in a weird way. Just go look past the Grim Reaper cosplay thing you have going on. And the fact that you illegally installed this app on my computer, of course. Yeah, that's that's creepy. It's not a... And even if your personality is kind of... What? What's wrong with my personality? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it, Grim. But if the shoe fits... My personality is fine. Yours, on the other hand. Also, I didn't illegally install anything. Your mortal of laws don't apply to me. Really? I wonder what my court would say if I sued you for invasion of privacy. They would never catch me anyway. Ah, that's where you're wrong. I'm tracking your location right now. What? Just kidding. Unless. Track it all you like, can never be able to reach me anyway. Ugh, I hate those new bottle top thingies. But they're still attached, they're so more difficult to get on. Why, do you live in another country? Sunshine, I live in another plane of existence. Let me guess. Australia. I... What? Australia? Yeah, Australia. That is a location on Earth, mortal. Is it really, though? Have you seen what goes on there? Like, the insects and the nature and the... Mm. Is there any proof it's on Earth? If you considered picking up a map, what if the maps are lying? I mean, Australia got all these spiders and I almost said want to kill you. It seems like a different dimension to me. Huh, maybe if I sent you to Australia, the world love will do my job for me. Ah, oh, fun vacation. No, you buffoon, I'm in the underworld. I thought you would be obvious. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. I need to drink something. I'm not used to talking so much anymore. Mostly. Australia might be a hoax. Since when do you have Wi-Fi in the underworld anyway? Or computers or posters. Nice posters, by the way. None of what seems to have it all. Do you think I should make the move? You are not destined for the underworld. No? Don't fancy your roommate? I would rather perish than share my space. Valid. That's a valid reaction. Oh, even with me? Especially with you. Shame. Yeah, I think I was making a great house partner. Ha house partner? I could help clean and uh, cook, clean, bathe if you ask me nicely. Excuse me. I do not need help bathing of all things. I, I can bathe myself perfectly enough already. There's room for improvement. I'm kind of sad they said house partner, not house spouse, because that rhymes. 
I would even wash your hair for you. My hair? Yeah, it looks fluffy. Do you not have hot water in the underworld? Of course, there's hot water. But that is not the point. Perfect. Then it all works out. Maybe I will even throw in a massage. If you give me one too. There will be no massaging or cooking together or sharing a house, do you understand? But the bathing is still on the table, huh? No, it's absolutely not. Well, if you change your mind, I assure you, I, I won't. Any, always. Anyway, you're changing the topic. If anyone changing the subject, it's you. No. How did you even learn to install a virus on my computer? Did you take an advanced underworld hacking class, Grim? What? No, don't be stupid. I learned it myself. That's impressive. All on your own? Yes, got a problem with that. Not gonna lie, I'm impressed. As she should be. I should not have said that. My talents are plentiful and perfected. Yeah, yeah you're kind of full of it. Um. Uh, bah, bah, wait one moment. I need to respond to a message. I will be answering and being able to think in a moment. Uh. Bah, 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 bah. Enjoy my weird noises. Yippee! Uh, okay. Message is seen. Actually, I've changed my mind. Decided I'm appealed instead of absolutely discuss it. Talk about from one extreme to the other. Maybe if I actually had some form of security on your computer, it wouldn't have been so easy. I have security? Yeah, what one? Whatever the one that came with the computer. Right, it wasn't hard to get in at all. Are you sure you aren't some super hacker? As if I had the time to nonsense like that. You learn it yourself. Reaping souls is hard work, you know? It is. I mean, every time we talk, you're just sitting in your room. Do you expect me to be working 24-7? Is the Grim Reaper? Yeah, kinda. Anyway. So you really just made up this whole program yourself? Like I've already said? Yes. How? Oh. How? That was... What a loaded question. You wouldn't understand me at all. Trust me. Trust me. I did coding stuff for almost a bit over half a year and then a bit more and I'm gonna start again next year. I can understand. I think I would understand just fine. I didn't make games for a living. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm sure I can understand at least some of your code. Point taken. I'm not gonna tell you. You pay someone else to make it. Are you an idiot? I said I made it. I do not lie. But if I have... If you have to know, I did watch a tutorial. Tutorial, like a video on programming? Uh, yeah. I made use of the resources I had. Fair enough. Is that a problem for you? No, not at all. Very resourceful of you. I should add this to the list of attributes I associate with you with. And what exactly does this list there say there, I ask? Annoying, creepy, weird, kind of cute, very resourceful. Annoying, creep, weird, weird again, weird of the third time, just because why not? <laughs> I am near none of those things. You are all of those things. You're not bad looking. I have exactly zero traits that relate to cuteness. None whatsoever. Not true. I'm the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is not cute. How do you not understand something so elementary? You should tremble. Tremble? Yes. You should be terrified. Wait a second. Oh my god. What's that behind you? What are you on about? That plushie on your bed. It's so cute. What? Oh, oh no. Oh my god, it's so cute. You did not see that. Not a word about it, do you understand? It's adorable. No. 
What? How did you move that so so fast? Bring it back. It looks adorable. What's his name? Why the hell would you give him a name? Oh, he? Ah, uh, shh. This is the highlight of my day. Stop talking. He's so cute and pink. Let me name him for you. No. How about no? Oh, I've got the perfect name. His name is Ezra. Okay, that's cute. I'm somewhat unsurprised by that name. What's that supposed to mean? The Angel of Death. Of course, you would name him Ezra. It's much better than what you're... God's awful names you were sure you were about to spouse. Dean. It's not a terrible name. Would have given him a great name, actually. Uh, something so, so cute. Well, he has a name. That's a great discussion, this is. Do the calls. Is it a bit late to go off to work? Mortal death can call at any time. Talk to you later, little human. See ya, Grim. Yes, I suppose you shall. Look after yourself, myth. Claiming your life belongs to me only. Possessive? That sounded almost romantic. That can be quite romantic, don't you think? Have a good night, miss. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow. We completed day two. Wait, how many? Uh, wait, am I gonna get text now? Uh, yep, okay, oh, uh. You kept running around to check over your shoulder today. Something felt strange, like someone was watching you. But wherever you looked, no one was there. Curious. She walked home, complicate, com I can speak. Contemplating this feeling, you heard the sound of heavy wheels. You turn your head to see a truck rushing down a hill towards you, though no one sits in the driver's seat. I keep walking. You keep walking on the leisure pace for a reason even though you don't understand. You are crumbling, collapsing crash and watch as the truck falls down into a sinkhole that appeared out of nowhere. Strange, but luckily you are unscattered. Okay, is he trying to kill us or is he like accidentally saving us? I'm curious. Or well, not accidentally anymore. Oh, well, we can play with Potato. You pull out Potato's favorite toy, a small mouse on a stick. As soon as she locks eyes on it, she jumps on her to her feet, gets down low and ready to bounce. You spend a significant amount of time playing a game of can a mouse with Potato. Time well spent in your books. Mm-hmm, I agree. Uh, but they just hang out on your bed enjoying the last bit of sunlight. Sitting in the sun, her up of Yeah, we know that. She bursts as she give her belly rubs. Fortunately, Potato loves belly rubs. Seeing how happy she is makes you wish you were a cat napping in the sun all day. Actually, I have my own uh, black kitten for... Uh, uh, I adopted him like a few months ago. And I was cooking in the kitchen and I lost sight of her. So I looked around the entire room. This little gremlin crawled into a black bag that suddenly started moving, scaring me. I had a half heart attack, I had the feeling. Until I realized the kitten was just inside the bag, moving it around a lot. It scared me. Okay, am I allowed to even click on my bed? Your favorite bed? It also happens to be your only bed, but that doesn't matter. Your soft blue bedding sits against the pristine sheets. You sit down on the edge of the bed and look around your room. It makes you smell. Your style has changed a lot over the years, but you're very proud of how it looks right now. Before it was... A rainbows everywhere. Rainbows everywhere you looked. You also love bright colors and lots of decor. You can wait to show, see how your style will continue to change in the future. No, wait, no, never mind. The door. I need to know the love story. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky you brought the grocery on the way home from work, so you don't really have anywhere to go at this time of day. I know. I want to know the, the gossip. Yes. I want to hear more of the neighbors. Eavesdrop. We had a creak of someone ascending the staircase in the hall outside of the apartment. You put your ear to the door, straining to hear more. Then the sound of someone's phone ring echoes through the hall. A deeper voice answers. Hello? There's a pause as you assume the person on the other end of, of the line replies. I'm working on it, yes. I am here. I've rented an apartment. I know it's not necessary, but let me just do things the way I want to do them, okay? Is Grim living above me? There's an even longer pause. The deep voice lowers in reply. Let me just have this, please. I know this is meant to be a punishment, but give me a little longer. Let me just pretend for a little longer. Here's side as the footstep begin again. Hmm, of the two people on the call hang up. But you think it was probably another person. You hear a knock, it's almost make you jump. It's the next door. A voice both alive and airy calls out. It reminds you of a little of a warm summer breeze. You're early. The deeper voice is cool winter night response. What can I say? I can't stay away. I mean, I might have ultra, mo ultra. I might have motives. You say, you did say you were baking today, right? The light voice laughs. So you're just after my cookies. You got me. Sorry. Come in. We can eat before we go. Luckily, I saved a couple, huh? The voice then become muffled as the door closes. Seems to be all you hear for today. So, is that like a Grim Reaper living above us? Or like an assassin? That's romancing her neighbor? Whatever, check the computer. Oh wait, I was gonna... Yes, okay. Um, achievements, let me quickly look, because I keep getting them. I see six days. What are your plans? Again, what are my plans? Whatever. Um, okay, what about we complete day three? And then next time I will play the other three days. Because honestly, my voice is kind of leaving me. <laughs> and I don't know how much longer I can get. I was planning on like streaming it all in one go. I'm starting to realize that I cannot do that because it's almost been two hours and I am getting lightheaded from speaking so much. Um, internet. Ooh. Ooh, I, I love these. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, I can um, Okay, no. Chat room. Or do we have any other games we can play? It's probably the same. Let's play the word let. Um, cookie. That's too long of a word, I don't care. Baking. Parks. Pens. I'm not good at this, I just want to know the word. Give me the word. Lead. Sure. Yep, let's enter the chat room. Mortal, do not call upon me this day. Adhere to my words, else you sh a curse I'll be following you. Where's your profile picture? What? Message not sent. Hello? Message not sent. Rim, your app is broken. Warning. Error. System malfunction. Force restart. Your screen of your computer goes dark. No matter how many times you press the on button, it won't turn back on. Frustrated, you complicate once again throwing your laptop out of the window, then you side against it. 
Who can afford a new laptop in the day, this day and age? You're waiting here like this for 25 minutes. Then a ding from your computer gets your attention. Slowly it boots back up, but you're not greeted by your desktop. Instead you see a call already connected. Uh, why are you incapable of listening? I swear you don't listen purposely. Uh, well, yes. Why I missed the message? I want to know what it says. Give me one moment. I will just look back stream. It won't take long. Promise. I hope if everything goes well at least. It shouldn't take long. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I am not used to doing this anymore. I'm sorry. Just want to know what was being said. Yes, let me just go back a few seconds ago. Why are you incapable of listening? Oh, did it just... Nor following a simple... Single simple instruction. Okay, that's what it said. That was worth knowing. Why is your camera off? What did you do to my computer? It's none of your business. You are not meant to admit to it. What am I supposed to do with you? Give me attention. I see. I very clearly said for you not to call upon me. Well... Technically, I didn't. I only messaged you. And they didn't even send. Something wrong? I obviously meant do not disturb me. Do not call me. Do not message me. Yet you could not seem to understand something so simple. So I simply disabled the functions. Even that didn't deter you. Okay, but why? Is everything all right? Hi. Are you okay? It's nothing to worry about. You can tell me if there's a problem. What makes you think there's a problem? Maybe a simple one to the day of peace and quiet. Two things uh, you're not notoriously bad at. Oh, you are notoriously bad at. You said that and yet you've called me anyway. So it makes me think something happened. It seems your skill of deduction are adequate, at least. Yippee, I would take that as a compliment. You're getting better at giving those compliments. So it's wrong. I do not wish to discuss the matter. Somehow I miss your face, you know? How about turning your camera on? Grim? No, I would prefer not. It's not a good idea at the present moment. What's that supposed to mean? Did its face like melt off and is it like just a skeleton? Are you hurt? I suppose you could say that. Uh, really? Grim? Stop yelling. My mind just need to stabilize its health, so to speak. Your mind? Yes. Is there something wrong with your hearing today? Or perhaps there's a parrot in the call with us. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna use that one. That's a good one. Are you sure you're okay? Your sense hasn't been hurt, I see. I simply need to replenish my energy. You wouldn't understand. That I can understand. Maybe you should have a relaxing bath. As nice as that sounds, it won't be enough. Just need to rebalance. It's nothing personal, sorry. You're making me worry more. I just need some time, which is why I've told you to leave me alone today. To rebalance? Yes, my soul has been spent too heavily today. Uh, right, your soul. Uh-huh. Just... Let us resume via text. Um, okay. O okay. This will work better. You're simply too bright. 
Oh, too bright. Like sun sh sunlight, blindingly so. I can't decide if you mean that as a compliment or an insult. Honestly, how can someone's aura be so intense and yet be so not? I'm unsure. What are you talking about? You are an enigma to me. Hmm. I'm so confused right now. That is to be expected. What do you mean by my aura? You wouldn't understand. After all, you, your eyes cannot see what mine see. Uh, your aura is so it's like a marriage. I see. No, you do not. It's beyond unusual. Most living creatures have solid colors that surround them. Most? Most, yes. Some with a strange connection to beyond may have an aura with multiple colors. But the coloring is still solid. Always. Ah. Still don't understand. Do you have an eye condition? What? No. You're not paying attention probably, properly. Just listen. Your aura. Since he first spoke, I've been studying it. It does not resemble a living being's aura at all. Are you trying to tell me I'm dead? You are not dead. The aura of the dead is like smoke, I suppose. It has a strong stench and it's thick. Yours is not like that either. So, oh my god. What is my soul like then? Like sunshine and shining through a fog but when i look close it's like a mirage like there's nothing the color is so strong yet empty that seems contradiction like a contradiction to me that's why it's like a mirage it does not make sense have you been cursed or maybe made a blood promise then broke it a curse i don't think so you have made no promise without on blood. I think I would remember if I had so, so no. Indeed, you would have none if you had. The consequences of breaking them are severe. I will have to rule both of these out then. Pull them out? What exactly? Can you explain what you're talking about, Grim? All this talk of curses and blood promises making something out of fiction. Completely not real. It's very real. You just haven't lived a life where you have witnessed not participated in such thing. Oh, nor participated. Yeah, okay. How exactly do I get you to understand? If you start to make sense, then I will understand. I have an idea. You know what? After this whole weird conversation, I don't know if I like the thought of you having an idea. You still don't believe my words. I can try, I suppose you have to do. So what's the idea of yes then? I'm gonna channel some of my life force into you. Brilliant of how I've always dreamed of just that. And maybe you'll make take me more seriously. As a reaper, I will pose no challenge to me. In theory. Um uh, how exactly this one channels life force. And that God exactly does it mean? I was playing along with the whole green thick Grim Reaper thing. But you've just got a buttload of stranger. Got an buttload stranger. Oh yeah. I have not lied to you ever since once since we met. If you want to prove, then look into my eyes. And I will form a connection between us. Right, right, I see. The eyes can be seen as a gateway to one's soul. And it's necessary to form the bridge between us. So you're gonna make us soulmates, that's what I hear. A bridge, of course. Oh, I accidentally pressed the button again, okay. Can it be a pretty bridge? Can't say guys ever wanted to make a mind a pretty bridge. If that makes you happy, sure, it's a pretty bridge. Yes, this should work. Once a connection is formed, I will transfer part of my conscious to you. You will what? This is the soul baby thing again. What? Are you bringing up soul babies again? You connect to me via your weird magic. 
Seems like a little saw baby, you pee boy. Don't you think? No. No, I don't. I do not think so. No one is having any soul babies. Or whatever that means. But you must take this seriously. If you resist after a connection is formed, then your mind will fracture. You may not be the same again if you even live. Fracture. What does that mean? Your mind will fall apart. You will lose the ability to understand life. Essentially, you will lose yourself. Mm, I wouldn't be me anymore. No. You would be a husk. An empty shell of yourself. Okay, I'm gonna drink a bit. Hold on. I'm trying to see if me drinking more can make me pull out. It can make me hold on for a bit longer. And just continue with another day. And see if I can finish it all. Typically a preferred vessel for a demon to inhabit. Then they really have a hassle to deal with. So like. Let's not do that yeah. Oh they're really a hassle to deal with yeah. So this is a consensual possession huh. And if I change my mind. Boom demon time. When you put it like that. It makes it sound like I'm doing something forbidden. Possession sounds pretty forbidden, not gonna lie. It doesn't really fall under the classification of possession unless I forcibly take over your body. Aren't you breaking any underworld rules or anything then? Oh, so you aren't. Hey, grip. <laughs> Shall we begin? Grim? Dude? You did not answer my question. Or am I safe? Are we gonna break any rules? Grim? Hello? Okay. Whoa, oh, I love talking to a blank screen. Ugh, I suppose it's needed. Fine, whatever. You look fine. Happy now? You don't look very hurt, but you said it's not something visible to the eye. Nor is there anything for you to think heavily on, so no need to bring it up. Can't you just tell me? I will worry otherwise. It's simply my mind. Your mind. Should this mind connection join anything you not wait then? You know, until you recovered. Would it make it worse? I suppose that would be a sensible thing to do. But it's nothing I've, I haven't dealt with before. Let's go ahead with it. This is not dangerous for your health. As long as I don't delve into your mind too deep, it will be fine. Well, if you say so. Okay, just look at. So I just, just. Yes, don't look away until a connection is formed. How will I know when it's formed? You will feel it. He's, he's worried about me. <laughs> and I shall tell you, of course. What about the resistance? Once I've connected to you, my conscious will merge with yours. You should feel me around you, just don't try to push me away. If you try to force me out, it will cause an imbalance in our connection. And you aren't going to make me do weird things, right? Don't be ridiculous, this isn't some party trick. You're not gonna make me jump out of the window to finally be able to claim my soul, right? This just feels like a giant trick. You want me to prove. I'm serious. And I want answers. This is mutual beneficial. So once you're in, you're gonna do what exactly? Look for sad answers. Which means... Nine hells, you ask so many questions. You're gonna go into my head. That seems fair that I ask questions, okay? I'm about to hypothetically let you into my mind. Of course I'm gonna have... Exactly. It's reasonable. 
It almost sounds like I really believe you. Maybe I am the real crazy one. I'm going to examine your fillets, mallet. Hey, you could have phrased it. Surely you could have phrased it a little better. And maybe I'll give you answers on what is stopping me from completing this godforsaken task. Wait a second. Seeing as you keep mentioning that you want to, you know, kill me. How do I know this isn't a trick? Hmm, I suppose that's a fair comment. I would do nothing to harm you, you can trust me. Trust the guy wanting to take my soul. Right. I cannot lie, I will not touch a single hair on your head. Yeah, fine, I believe you. Well, are you prepared? Uh, come at me, I guess? Stay still and prepare yourself. Nearly there, okay. Intense eye contact here. Rim. Shh, don't break my concentration, okay. Are you sure this is? Stop wiggling. It will cause irreparable, irreparable damage and you will. it will be my fault entirely. I will not feel sorry for you. Just keep your eyes on me, okay? I am. There you are, okay. Oh, my eyes. Ah. I feel something. It's something feels strange. The connection is stable, which is luckily, by the way, because of all your wiggling. What the are you? How is this possible? I feel cold. You feel cold. What? I'm cold? That's you, right? The cold feeling. I'm surprised you can feel that. Our connection is stable, sure, but you really were serious the whole time. You're actually the Grim Reaper. Yes. I told you. Now you look somewhat foolish, don't you? Nothing new there. Yes. So I've been telling you this entire time. I'm always truthful. It seems that you finally start to believe me. How? How could that be possible? That is a question bigger than you or I. It simply is. Anyway, do you feel that? It felt itchy. Uh, not that feeling. <laughs> That's just an itch. The connection, you moron. Feels like a pool. Good. Can you see through my eyes? How does this work? Not until I transfer a part of my conscious to, into you. You haven't done that yet. No. All I've done is link us together. Think of it as a bond of sorts. Part of myself will flow through your aura. And then my conscious will be inside you. Then I could technically see through your eyes. Of course, make perfect sense, sure. So much sense. Your sarcasm. How more sarcasm, how fascinating. Brim? Yes. If I accidentally you'll be fine. The bridge between us is quite stable. It seems you and I are quite suited for each other. Ooh. If you say so. You disagree? Well, exactly. I do feel like we're suited for each other, like you said. I'm just unsure about what it means to be suited to death. Literally. I also don't know. Maybe we'll find out together. Anyway, how do we do this? Picture our connection uh, bridge. It's... This is the little bits, a small thing. Very impressive. Congratulations. One side is yours, another is mine. I'm simply going to walk across the bridge with part of my conscious. Sounds simple enough. Then I tell you to, when I tell you to, you simply close your eyes. But hold tight to the handles, okay? That is the pull of you, my mind. What happens if I don't feel this pull anymore? It would only happen if the connection became unstable. 
and if that happens, it would be too late. A fracturing would have begun. And that shouldn't be a worry, right? As long as you don't push me away. Yes. Got it, boss. Good. Ugh. It's going to be crossing. Take a deep breath and remain calm. This is interesting. Like how suddenly the entire tone of um, the game changed. Like, I'm trying to put it into words, hold on. It went from kind of a goofy, silly game to like, oh, now I believe you, and it became a bit more serious, at least for the moment. I totally believe it's just gonna be incredibly goofy in a few seconds again. I hope he's cool as a cucumber. Particularly a cool one. Sush, close your eyes. Okay. When I've made him a bit across, you can open them again. Huh, that doesn't make sense. Interesting. Grim, may maybe this is a bad idea. What if, what if I accidentally... What about hurting you? Myrtle, calm down. Stop worrying so much. As long as you stay calm, then nothing will go wrong. Are you sure? Sorry, I'm calm. Are we though? Are we really? Phew, yeah, I'm fine. I trust you. It was too close. She doesn't know how to stretch me out. Sorry, I can be an anxious person. Nearly there. Stay composed for a little longer. I'm across. Open your eyes, mortal. I... Pass out. <laughs> How do you feel? Strange. That is normal. Now let's take a look at that aura of yours up close. Ah. What is it? How did you... How could that... Wait a second. I can hear you in my head. Yes. Should have mentioned that this that this connection has benefits and drawbacks. It's not permanent. Amazing. My tenants are amazing, yes. Thanks for noticing. No, not your talents. It's amazing that this is possible. Yeah. Thanks to my talents. You are so full of yourself. I'm a very talented after all. Talented and amazing and all of that. So, can you see my aura? I can see it, yes. Mind you, I could see it before too. Now I can feel it, I suppose. I feel, hmm, spares? Not exactly what I want a pretty man to call me, but okay. I said your aura of spares, not you. Hmm, pretty, come on. I'm sure you could think of a better descriptive word for me. Anyway, it's not necessarily bad, but it's unusual. I can say I know what it means. Yeah. Hey, why are you pulling that kind of ugly face? What? Ugly? I'm far from ugly. You didn't want to call me. You're not pretty, but you're also not ugly. What are you? Fine, what's with the face? It's bright. You're bright. I've told you this already. Pay more attention. Right, so you don't like light, do you? Do you sparkle in the sun like, like that vampire from a movie? What? No. It's just... It hurts my eyes to look too closely, that's all. I'm just a little sensitive, okay? I bet you are. What does that mean? I bet you are. Mm, be careful not to damage your eyes then. Don't look too close, alright? Fantastic advice, except I must look closely if I'm to work out what exactly is wrong with you. But if it hurts you, that makes me feel kind of bad. 
I will deal with it. So our soul is supposed to be that bright. Sometimes soul can shine or glow like yours. It's rare, but not unheard of. But I didn't mean... I meant my eyes. My eyes! <laughs> hmm. But hmm, yours doesn't look the same, nor feel the same as anyone else's. Maybe you should try smelling it? But did you say we're gonna do right? It has no scent. Phew, I was heard it smelled like the eggs I ate last night. Um, we can both be thankful that's not the case. But the lack of smell tells us that you are indeed not cursed. Well, th th that's good, right? I don't think I wanna be cursed. It sounds like a bad thing. Which is good, but it still doesn't explain anything. Close your eyes again, I will. it helps me concentrate. Looking into my eyes is that distracting, huh? Hmm, what the? What is it now? Grim? Open. So? In all of my years, I've never seen anything like this before. Are you gonna tell me what's wrong? It's you. I'm wrong, B. Close your eyes again. No, you start explaining. Just do as you're told. So palsy. You could say please, you know. Please. Oh, okay. Thank you. That was easy. I'm the best of the best. There's no one better on the plane of mine or mine than I. I am everything people should strive to be. Steve at it again. I like positivity. It's an indestructible fact. Yet, I can make any sense of this. Maybe it's not the best of the best then. Nonsense, that's not an option. If anything, this is a problem with you, not me. Ouch. You're alright. Pulses and apps. Pulses? When you close your eyes, yes, it pulses. Open them again for me. And now? Now it ripples. Colors flow like oil and water. Maybe something is protecting me? Is there something you need protection from? Well, uh, you? Ha, huh, I won't harm you. I've told you such. Yeah, you won't be harming me this time. But you're still after my soul, right? Correct. But not today, I'm st still not at my full strength. And I believe you for now. So, no answers? You cannot rush perfection. Uh, no, but I can rush you. I will look into it more later. There must be something mentioned in the tome somewhere. Pulse dating all of us. And then there's your other issues. Other issue? Until I understand what's going on, it's best you don't ask questions. I know, I know. It will be difficult for you. Don't look so sassy. Out of all the mortals in existence, you must be the one who asks for the most questions. Good. Why can I ask questions? Would you look at that? Another question. <laughs> knowledge, knowledge is dangerous, especially if you're wrong. Is wrong. So you will tell me once you know more. Perhaps, maybe if behave or bag. We really have to beg. I mean, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to know, maybe if you beg me first. I think it's time for me to go. Time is ticking. Now, so suddenly, I need a rest and I need answers. The answers will be coming first. Take care of yourself, okay? But uh, thank you, um, I appreciate it. Get some rest, please. I missed that sentence again because the game make does mm, not letting me press the correct buttons. Every time I try to press like this little button here, just clicks through here, which is kind of a problem. 
Our responsibility of being the Grim Reaper. That's correct. Still can't believe it. Feels like it should be work for my soul, but you're not very threatening. There's plenty of threatening when I want to be. You just haven't seen that side of me yet. And show it to me. No, not today, please. But I don't believe you. Mortal, I do not lie. Mm, that's exactly what a liar would say. I'm hanging up now. No! I'm trying not missing gazing into my eyes too much. Sexy little. You told, you told me I had to. You need. But you stared long after you needed to. You've are always stared at, staring at me, haven't you? Aren't you? Whatever. What? 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 <laughs> and what if I say yes? Heh. <laughs> but you wrapped around my finger, little mortal. Sure about that? And what if I said I didn't like that? I would say that you are making a mistake, obviously. The only place I will lead you is your doom, remember that. Well, as long come after me being wrapped around your... <laughs> Anything I say, have you wrapped around my finger? How did you connect, come to that conclusion? You're like a little puppy that I'm leading around to by the color. So you wish to color me, understandable. I would look fantastic in a color. That is not what I was saying. No, that's not something I want to say. I'm leaving now. Try not to get up to too much trouble while I'm gone. No promises. Night night, Mr. Green Reaper. You could at least try to sound a little scared. No. By the way, I'm assuming I can't tell people about you. Absolutely not. If found you have told others about this, I will be held to pay. Like anyone at all? Do you really have a death wish? Maybe I just like pushing your buttons? You are truly infuriating. You! By the way, I can't believe you changed your perfume filter to that. You and your edgy teenager like ass. I do not see what is funny about it. I did not want to be contacted. The solid like picture seemed to convey that. It yeah, definitely did lay my own. I feel like you're being sarcastic, but let it this once. Go rest. You may not feel it, but your mind will need it after what happened. Nice to know you care. Or don't, as suffer for it later. Your choice. I don't care either way. Such heartwarming support. Thank you. I suppose I would take it too hard this one time. I will take it eventually. My heart. Your heart, your soul, your entire life. That's a bold claim. No other shall have you. Hmm, possessive. Good night, Sunshine. Ah, oh, I cannot even tease him about being possessive. Okay. I... Do think I'm gonna keep it here since it's been... Uh, two and a half hours, basically. And my voice is leaving me, my energy is leaving me, and it's basically bedtime. So I want to thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed and a good night. No. Bye bye.